Welcome back, teachers and students. I'm Nick Arango. Today is Friday, November 10th, and Mass TV starts right now. Miami Art Studio has had the honor of being nominated for the Magnet Schools of America Merit Award. Along with our nomination, we were asked to submit a video that showcases all the magnet programs we have going on here at our school. Take a look at what we piece together. For those of you who follow our school on Instagram at Miami Art Studio, you may have noticed that for the month of November, we're asking you guys to participate in the Gratitude Challenge. Students are asked to post a picture or a quote dedicated to someone they're grateful for in their life. Mass TV has joined in on this challenge as we asked a couple of high school students about the things that they're grateful for. Each day as the craziness in the world unravels, I'm increasingly thankful for the fact that um, as a woman and as a young person, I can go to school because that is seen as a privilege somewhere else and it's something I don't take for granted because education gives you a power that nothing else can. I'm thankful for my family and my friends for supporting me and helping me all throughout high school and just uh, making me for who I am today. I'm really grateful to have such an amazing principal like Dr. B, who really supports each and every one of us and really tries his best to mold us all into leaders and overall better people in the future. Okay, so I'm grateful for my family, my beautiful car, um, and for FIU for accepting me. Shout out to FIU Go Panthers. Oh, so I'm grateful for my niece and nephew because they're always there for me and they taught me that family is everything. I'm grateful for my dog Nemo. He's helped me get through tough times and he's always been there for me. I am grateful for my family and the fact that they are able to provide for me in order to live a healthy lifestyle. So I am definitely grateful for my big brother who has been such a really good role model for me and has guided me through all the obstacles in my life such as college and high school. So some things I'm grateful for is my health and my family and my friends and Orango versus Reese and all the success that the show has had this year. I'm grateful for my country because of all the opportunities it, it provides me. Um, uh, a simple example, me being a senior, going to college, a lot of kids don't get to go to college. They don't get uh, education such as the ones that we're privileged to in this country. And that's just one of the many examples I could give you as to why I'm grateful for being in the United States of America. I'm grateful for teachers who ensure that we are given the best education possible every day. So I am extremely thankful for the opportunities I have been able to go through because of my magnet and I'm super thankful for everybody who's been there to support me. I'm grateful for all the friends I've made throughout the years. We, I've been here for seven years now and everybody I've met has made an impact in my life. So I'm grateful for that. 
For this week's Senior Spotlight, we highlight a student who's known for her role in student government as the Class of 2018 historian, and also for her role in the school's theater department, being the president of the International Thespian Society. That student is Emily Pasteris. Hi, I'm Emily Pasteris, and I have a passion to perform. My number one goal and my number one mission in life, I think, is to inspire other people and help them to become the best version of themselves. So basically, my entire world kind of revolves around theater. Um, everything that I do is theater related, whether it's music service, leadership positions, and my actual passion. I have like the biggest drive for theater that I can possibly imagine. It's what I do when I come to school, when I leave school. Um, it's all I think about in everything that I do. And it's kind of something that I would love to do for the rest of my life, and it's the only thing that I can imagine myself doing. I've been performing for as long as I can remember, I think my first lead role ever was Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz. What prompted me to take on these leadership positions is that I have such a strong drive for theater, so obviously being best grade president was something that I really aimed for throughout all of my high school career. As far as senior class, I have been a senior class historian since sophomore year, and I love um, Instagram, social media. I'm like a social media butterfly, just because I love to post things, I love the stories, I love being able to capture different people and different groups. Called The Woman by Claire Mears Booth, directed by Naomi Man, who's the bomb, and she inspired me every day. Emily um, was the first student I came in contact with. Uh, coming into the school as as the thespian president so she was already elected the last year but you could definitely see why she was elected the president she um, is super passionate about theater she is a motivated person that she's the kind of character that um, does things like she she thinks like two steps ahead she doesn't wait for things to be given to her she plans and she makes things happen you know she's a mover she's a shaker I also volunteer at a local elementary school called Dr. Ramon Zimbarello Elementary where I started a drama club because they're not a magnet school so they don't have a lot of theater over there, well they didn't used to, but with the amazing staff that they have over there and my help, we started a drama club and a lot of the alumni is actually at our school now and they're going to do big things here at Mass. So I remember when she said that she was finally going to come here thinking to myself, if this young lady with all her talent has decided to stay here for high school, I knew then that we can build something very special, not just in theater, but really across the school, if we can convince that type of talent to stay here. She's logged over 2,000 community service hours, and that's something to be said for somebody that's so involved uh, in theater on her personal side that she can commit that much time to a school and to a program to help youngsters follow in her footsteps. So those are some of the things that come to mind when I think of Emily just uh, you know the type of person that really embodies what our school is about and what we want all of our school all of our students uh, to be like is an Emily Pasteris. Arango versus Reese is back on Mass TV for this week let's get right into the challenge Jason and I took on for today's episode. What's going on guys welcome back to another installment of Arango versus Reese I'm Jason Reese this is Nick Arango. To recap our last challenge was the are you smarter than a fifth grader challenge which Arango won. Usually we invite the person to come onto the show who submitted that idea to pick out the next idea, but clearly they're not here right now. We're not going to say any names or anything like that. Yeah, this person decided not to show up like every other normal student, but that doesn't matter because this week we're not picking an idea from the box. In honor of it being the second nine weeks, we're going to do a challenge similar to our first challenge we did at the beginning of the year where we played pool on our phones and on the table. Today we're reenacting a popular game that's on the iPhone known as Cup Pong on the table and on our phones. Let's get into it. Let's go. Since Arango did win our last challenge, he's going to be able to go first. Right, let's go. Alright, here we go. Alright, so sounds good. Let's go. So let's sus. get into it. Easy money. Easy money, easy money. Let's go. No! Last one. What's up with that? Let's go! There's a rule, it's called redemption. He has a chance to make all of these without missing. There's just two, but you know what I mean. Why are you gonna look at me like that? Oh, so much pressure. No, I lost. Oh. That's game. Very good playing with you. But we still have 
the iPhone game. And let's see who wins on the iPhone. So Jason won on the table. Always, always. You don't always win. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys there. All right, so Jason beat me on the table. Now I'm gonna send him the invite on the phone. So we can play go home on the phone. And we'll see who wins. Let's do it. Oh, it's okay. You can talk. I did it. I did it. I won. Oh, oh. Let's go. I won twice. So, I'm the champion of Cup Pong on the table and on the phone. Nick here is our loser. Yes, I, I lost on the, table, on the table and on the phone. No, on the phone, I've never won my whole life. That's just excuse. That's just excuse. Anyways, just keep remembering to put in your ideas into the box room 5209. Put your name, idea, what grade you're in, and hopefully we can pick it out for our next episode. See you guys next week. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Remember to follow us on Instagram at mass underscore news and subscribe to our channel down below for all future videos. And for Mass TV, I'm Nick Arango, signing out.